Let the record show that I, Olive Pendergast, being of sound mind, ample ish breast size and the occasional corny knock knock joke do enter this video blog as evidence in the case against me and because i'm being judged by a jury of my peers i will attempt to insert like and totally as much as possible so here it goes i confess that i in no small part am to blame for the vociferous gossip that has turned my varsity letter scarlet however for those of you who are hoping that the sizzling details of my sordid past will give you reason to lock your door and make love to a dollop of your sister's moisturizing lotion well you will be gravely disappointed. Look, I just need to set the record straight. And what better way to do that than to broadcast it here on the internet? So, here it goes. Part one, the shudder-inducing and cliched, however, totally false account of how I lost my virginity to a guy at a community college in the neighboring town. Let me begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. Like, totally. What? I was thinking it's kind of funny. You know, we haven't really talked since that closet incident back in eighth grade. I was afraid you were going to bring that up. So have you been really? I have been fantastic. Really amazing. I don't know if you heard, but according to my locker, I'm a power bottom. Ooh. Thanks. Yeah, only two days after the custodians had finally gotten around to, to scrubbing turd burglar off. Which, if you think about it, really contradicts the previous label. Well, maybe your vandal is marveling in your versatility. Of course, I'm in detention. Why? Because Gibbons is a homophobe. We call him a fascist. Mm. So the rumors are true. Have you ever met me? No, I meant about Gibbons being a fascist. <sighs> you know, I, <clears throat> to be honest, I kind of, I kind of sensed it that night. You know, with the whole kissing thing, the way you ran away. It's, I remember thinking to myself, this isn't the first time that this kid is going to come bursting out of a closet. Start for you, Nance, dear. You know, I read this article, and with this whole emo movement, it looks like in a couple years the the gay kids are going to be the popular ones at school. Oh, good. I'll come back when I'm 27 for my redo. God, can you imagine all the guys on the dance team, like full on shirtless and tight pants, rocking out to Britney, while the football players just sit on the sidelines wishing they were that cool? That'll be okay. Judging from the new look you're sporting, I'm not the only one in a transformative stage. What's up with the whole whore couture? Oh my god, you haven't heard? I'm the new school slut. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did hear that. I heard you banged a guy twice your age. Oh, um, no, 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 no. He was a freshman in college. I also already gave you crabs. Ew. People suck. Tell me about it. I made him up. The guy that I slept with. So you started the rumor? Indirectly? Uh, sort of. No, actually, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> but you're perpetuating it. Excuse me? It's true. There's only one thing worse than these tabloid-chasing celebutons with their vapid minds and their immoral souls, and that's the people who want to be like them. Did I say that I wanted to be like them? No, you just want everyone else to think you. And, and, and why does it matter if that's not who I really am? I mean, no offense, Brando, but you could probably learn something from me. You're saying I should pretend to be straight so people will like me? What a novel idea. You should do seminars. Oh, wait, I forgot. In high school, everyone pretends to be something they're not. Hey, calm down, Adolf. There's a vein bulging out of your neck. I'm, ju I'm simply suggesting that, that maybe these kids we call peers might have the right idea. You know, maybe maybe Bridget Schumacher isn't as hippy dippy as she seems. You know, maybe that's just the the label she puts on herself to avoid bathing as often as society deems necessary. Or or take Mary Ann Bryant. It's 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 convenient for her to act like a stuck up Jesus freak. You know what? No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Mary Ann Bryant actually is just a stuck up Jesus freak. But do you think that she cares? That's how people perceive her? No, no. She she probably was just sick of being another faceless, nameless entity in a time and a place that reveres people for extremity. There are some of us, though, that just want to blend into the crowd. Well, then maybe you should take that to the extreme. Or make the steadfast decision not to care. You know, even better if you can swing both. I have discovered an infallible remedy to teen angst. Apathy. I can't decide if you're a genius or a lunatic. 
funny, I always thought teen angst and apathy went hand in hand. Okay. What, pretending to be a whore? For a virgin, I'm impressed. How about me? Can I pass it straight? Not bad. For a fact. I prefer turd burglar. You know, if we really wanted to shock people, we would just get up and leave detention. But you know we'd never do that. Well, it won't stop me from telling everyone that we did. Are these detention sessions often in Shepherd? I don't think we pose a flight risk. Mm, I see. <laughs> what? I was just thinking it was kind of funny. We haven't really talked since that uh, closet incident back in eighth grade. I was afraid you were going to bring that up. How have you been, Brandon? I have been fantastic. Really amazing. I don't know if you heard, but according to my locker, I'm a power bottom. Yikes. Yeah, only two days after the custodians had finally gotten around to scrubbing turd burglar off, which, if you think about it, really contradicts the previous label. Have you stopped to think that maybe your vandal is marveling in your versatility? But of course, I'm the one in detention. Why? Because Gibbons is a homophobe. I called him a fascist. Mm. So the rumors are true. Have you ever met me? No, I meant about Gibbons being a fascist. <laughs> You know, I kind of sensed it that night with the whole kissing thing, you know, the way you ran away. I remember thinking to myself, this isn't the first time this kid is going to come bursting out of a closet. Gold star for you, Nancy Drew. I read an article that says with this whole emo movement that uh, in a couple of years, it looks like the gay kids are actually going to be the most popular ones in school. Oh, good. I'll come back when I'm 27 for my redo. God, can you imagine the dance team full of shirtless guys just in tight pants, rocking out to Britney while the football team sits on the sidelines wishing they were that cool. That'll be the day. And judging from the new look you're sporting, I'm not the only one in a transformative stage. What's up with the whole whore couture? Haven't you heard? I'm the new school slut. As a matter of fact, I did hear that. I heard you banged a guy twice your age. Oh, no, no, no. He was a freshman in college. Also heard he gave you crabs. Ew. God, people suck. Tell me about it. He wasn't real. You know, the, the, the guy I slept with like, made him up. So you started the rumor? Indirectly, sort of. No, actually. No, I didn't. But you're perpetuating it. Excuse me? It's true. There's only one thing worse than these tabloid-chasing celebutons with their vapid minds and their immoral souls, and that's the people who want to be like them. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that I wanted to be like them? I don't remember. No, but you want everyone to think that you are. Why does it matter if it's not who I really am? I mean, no offense, Brando, but you could probably learn something from me. Oh, you're saying I should pretend to be straight so people will like me? What a novel idea. You should do seminars. Oh, wait, I forgot. In high school, everyone pretends to be something they're not. You know what? Calm down, Adolf, because there's a vein bulging out of your neck. I was simply suggesting that maybe these kids we call peers are onto the right idea. You know, maybe Bridget Schumacher isn't as hippy-dippy as she seems. Maybe she's just put herself under that label to avoid bathing as often as society deems necessary. Or take Marianne Bryant. Oh. It is convenient for her to act like a stuck-up Jesus freak. You know, actually, I'm wrong with that one. I think she actually is just a stuck-up Jesus freak. But do you think she cares that that's how people perceive her? No. No, maybe she was just sick of being another nameless, faceless entity in a time and a place that reveres people for extremity. There are some of us, though, that just want to blend in with the crowd. Well, maybe you should take that to the extreme. Or make the steadfast decision not to care. Even better if you can swing both. I have discovered an infallible remedy to teen angst. Apathy. You can't decide if you're a genius or a lunatic. Well, don't they sort of go hand in hand? Funny, I always thought teen angst and apathy went hand in hand. How am I doing? What? I'm pretending to be a whore? For a virgin, I'm impressed. How about me? Can I pass for straight? Not bad. Perfect. Oh, I prefer turd burglar. You know, if we really wanted to shock the world, we would just get up and leave detention. But you know we'd never do that. Well, it won't stop me from telling everyone that we did. <laughs> Your package was perfection. So it's true? Bree, 
Well, it's not last night's conquest. God, you know what? I always think it's so stupid on TV when people pick up the phone and just magically seem to know who's on the other end. I usually, I usually preface a conversation with hello to avoid such banalities, but you know, the one time I decided to step up to the convention. How are you? I have many questions, obviously. Yes, Virginia, yes. There is a Santa Claus. No, in fact, I do not know the way to San Jose. And um, little known fact, Panama hats? Not from Panama. No, they're from Ecuador. I, who knew? I didn't. Now's not the time to be cute. Well, you are putting me in a precarious position because according to last month's Cosmopolitan magazine, women should always look cute, even when they're doing mundane activities like picking out vegetables from the, from the produce section of their local grocery store. Olive, stop. This is serious. Did you really bang Brandon last night at Melanie Dipshit's party? Is that what people are saying? That's what everyone is saying. Well, then I guess it's true. Does this mean you guys are, mean you guys are dating? <laughs> no, God, no, no. Just because you lost your virginity doesn't mean you can go around screwing everyone. Thanks, Mom. Good talk. You're getting a reputation. Okay, you know, you're coming off as a, as a little pious right now, and you're kind of pissing me off. Please forgive my rectitude, but I think that a best friend's duty is to let her let her know that everyone, and I do mean everyone, is calling her a cum dumpster. Well, do you think I'm a cum dumpster? Look, baby, I call a spade a spade. Okay, first off, that's racist. And secondly, how dare you? I was, I was Laura Ingalls to your Lady Chatterley, and, and you feel the need to tell me when I'm making a fool of myself. There, there, there were a lot of children here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there are a lot of children here who will never again experience family pizza night because of you. Do you want to wait? Sorry, we're just running it. Go. We're just running it. All right, but, uh, um, There are a lot of children here who will never again experience family pizza night because of you. So, so how about you jump off your high horse and go splash around in the gutter where you belong? I didn't want to believe it, but I guess it's true. And you're a jealous virgin. Oh, yeah. I totally want to lose my virginity to one of your brother's friends and then be the first for a fairy while everyone listens outside. What's wrong with you? Doesn't sex mean anything to you? Yes. Yes. It is a period of time, however short, that I don't have to talk to you. Uh, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. No, in fact, I do not know the way to San Jose, and little known fact, Panama hats, not from Panama, they're from Ecuador, who knew? Now's not the time to be cute. Well, you are putting me in a precarious position, Ray, because according to last month's Cosmopolitan magazine, women should always look cute, even when they're doing mundane activities such as picking up produce from the produce section of their local grocery store. Olive, stop it, this is serious. Did you really bang Brandon last night at Melanie Dipshit's party? Is that what people are saying happened? That's what everyone is saying happened. Well, then I guess it's true. Does this mean you guys are dating? <laughs> God, no, no. Just because you lost your virginity doesn't mean you can go around screwing everyone. Thanks, Mom. Good talk. You're getting a reputation. Okay. You're coming off as a little pious right now, and you're kind of pissing me off. Well, please forgive my rectitude, but I think that a best friend's duty is to let her know that everyone, and I do mean everyone, is calling her a cum dumpster. Well, do you think I'm a cum dumpster? Look, baby, I call a spade a spade. First off, that's racist, and secondly, I, how dare you? I was, I was the Laura Ingalls to your Lady Chatterley, and you feel the need to tell me when I'm making a fool of myself? There are a lot of children who will never again experience family pizza night because of you, so how about you jump off your high horse and go splash around in the gutter where you belong? I guess I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. And you're a jealous virgin. Oh yeah, I totally want to lose my virginity to one of your brother's friends, mm. and then be the first for a fairy while everyone listens outside. What's wrong with you? Does sex mean anything to you? Yes. It is a period of time, however short, that I don't have to talk to you. Bitch! <sighs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I think that's how these things are supposed to start. I'm really just going off of what I've seen in movies. Um, then I think I'm supposed to tell you how long it's been since my last confession, but um, it's actually kind of my first confession. Um, I'm not Catholic, so I don't really 
know what I'm doing here except um, sitting here in this booth and telling you what I've done wrong. So, um, where do I even start? Um, I've been pretending to be a, how does one phrase this in other terms? A, a harlot. A harlot. And um, it's not that I've actually been doing any of the things that people have been saying I've been doing, but um, then again, I, I, I haven't really been denying it either. And I guess I was just wondering, is that wrong? Because there's a lot of sh rap going on at my school that uh, that may or may not indirectly be caused by that uh, masquerade. I'm lying. I'm lying. Uh, I may have caused the end of a marriage. I thought in my own perverse way that I could help it, you know. And, and, and in my defense, I mean, I'm merely an adolescent, you know. I, I, I never should have been propositioned the way I was propositioned by an adult, but... But then again, you know, I never should have consented. It's just that I'm, a lot of people have been asking me to do things and I thought it was okay because it wasn't real. You know, it was just, it was just make-believe. No one was getting hurt, but uh, now a lot of people hate me. To be honest, I kind of hate myself. I might be wrong here, um, but aren't, are you supposed to say something or like maybe ask me some questions? Tell me to say some Hail Marys or, <laughs> hello? Uh, I was wondering if there's a minister around. Pastor McGreevy's on vacation this week, but our associate pastor's in. Would you like to speak to him? That would be fantastic. Can I tell him what this is regarding? Absolutely. Yes. I was uh, I was looking for a church to join, and uh, I was thinking maybe he could sell me on this fine establishment. Don, there's a young lady here who'd like to speak with you about joining. You can go right in. Thank you. You know, and quickly, if everyone here is as friendly as you, Hello there, young lady. My name's Dawn. How can I help you today? Uh, I'm new to the area. And uh, I was just, I was, I was looking for a church, uh, you know, something with a, with a strong fellowship, you know, a firm foot in the soil of uh, divinity. And I was just wondering what your church's stance on lying and adultery was. Uh, well, it's not a good thing. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I agree. I definitely agree, like, wholeheartedly. Um, but now tell me, assuming there is a hell... Man, the Presbyterian Church recognizes the existence of hell. Right. Right, 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 right. So, let's say there's a hell. Which is worse, lying or adultery? Or is, is, is lying about adultery like a, like a double whammy? I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, what did you say your name was? You know what? I I'm just gonna go check out Judaism because the uh, Jews and I have a lot in common, like fashion-wise and stuff. So thank you for your time. <laughs>